Hello again, folks. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. Pleased to be back with you on another uh, segment of Ask Matt on Acoustic Tuesday. Uh, and I have the great pleasure joining me here, uh, Courtney Hartman. Um, wonderful guitar player, wonderful vocalist, and um, wanted to bounce just a couple of questions off for her for, for your folks' benefit. Um, Courtney, thank you so much for, for joining us here today. Totally. And um, we know that in your travels, you've played many instruments. And um, I, I see you playing a lot of Dana Bourgeois guitars. Mm -hmm. And do you mind sharing with us um, why you love them? What speaks to you about them in particular? Totally. I met Dana when I was about 15 years old. And I was at NAMM for the first time, which was, for me, like, the equivalent of going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> it's next door to Disneyland. Um, and I would just kind of like hang around the booth. I would go there and go over to Callings, go to all the little mm -hmm. guitar spots. And so Dana kind of saw me over the years. And then when I was about 18 or something, saw him at IBMA. Nice. And um, he get, let me borrow a guitar for a tour of Germany. It was one of wow. Delamay's early tours. And then from there, we've kind of, as I've grown and shifted as a guitarist, and he's grown as a builder, it's been a really cool relationship to get to, I can say something like, this is what I'm wanting to hear, or this is what I am struggling with. And somehow in like, you know, to me, it's a miracle. And it's just, you know, knowledge and, and expertise, but he can translate that into guitar. Awesome. And it's it blows my mind every time awesome but it's really special to have a relationship with a builder who is alive and very present sure. i love old instruments a lot um but that's a really special thing because his work is is artistry as much as my work uh is artistry certainly so i that i value that a lot and i play also an arch top by a man named uh lawrence smart in idaho same kind of situation, such a deep artist in what he does, and I feel so fortunate to get to like have a direct line to that. I've seen you playing that arch top in some videos, and it's that's quite an instrument, I it's would agree. It's beautiful, yeah, yeah. And, and this happens to be one of your guitars here. Do you mind sharing with us what this is? Yeah, this is a new, I think this is a new uh, kind of experimental world for Dana, but I was wanting to see what it would feel like to have a, a something that felt like you could push it like a dreadnought, but it was sure. a smaller body. So he put just a large sound hole on an own body, and I'm loving playing it. It's been really fun. It's been really fun, and you can, I don't know, I, I've had a lot of fun with it. Awesome. And it has, it is a bourgeois, but there's nothing on top. It says it in the back. Hidden on the back. Yeah, but it's like a, it's like a cool hip pair of jeans that doesn't have a label <laughs> on it. Um, that's my guitar. And I can I can spy here. This is an Adirondack top, uh, one of Dana's torrified age tone Adirondack tops, and then Brazilian rosewood on the back and sides. For folks wondering, perhaps the the most classic wood combination you can have. So yeah, totally. In in Dana's hands and his his kind of level of refinement with that wood combo, that's a pretty astounding instrument there. So very cool. Um, care to? play anything on it at all sure i've got to grab a pick can you Wait. use a little one yeah <laughs> oh, no <laughs> it's too little i don't know if it's in tune we'll find out um <laughs> step and you still it like can it pushes so well super warm sound yeah super warm. do you use medium gauge strings light gauge strings mm, i use dead strings <laughs> <laughs> whatever works these are medium nice nice sounds awesome thank you i play i play half step down a lot um because i like how it feels certain guitars i think resonate better there but then i it it just really 
trips your brain out. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm learning how to navigate that. Any any of the the vocal part of it play into the the tune? Yeah, yeah, I I liked how it supports my voice in certain places. Sure. Um, and I I had it down yesterday because of the project with Robert Ellis. Yeah. And, um, we recorded and I was a half step down. Nice. So now, both now and forevermore, (laughs) I have to tune down for those shows. Something spatial too in a, in a lower tuning. It kind of fills some space that's that's kind of satisfying. Yeah, that's a big sound. No doubt. (laughs) Wonderful guitar. Well, Courtney, thank you again for joining us. Um, And to all of you at home, thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Happy Tuesday.